Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to TEDx McMaster 2015. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting that you're here. My name is Joel Hilchey, uh, and I have the distinct honor of being the MC for today. Uh, and it is uh, sort of my job then, I suppose, to uh, warm up the crowd in some sense. I don't know what that means exactly, um, but uh, I don't know if, uh, uh, if warming up the crowd counts as you know, setting things on fire, but we'll do it anyway. It's just because it's fun, you know? We hope it won't set off a fire alarm. Um, by the way, uh, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, what, well, airport security does not think that trick is funny. Okay, so... <laughs> just so you know. Um, here's what I thought we could do. We, ho we hope to have lots of great discussion today, lots of amazing speakers uh, who are lined up for you. But before we even start, why don't you go ahead, introduce yourself to the person next to you, maybe the person on either side, have a conversation very briefly. What are you most excited about today? Go ahead, take one minute and have a conversation. Go. Okay, pause there, pause there, pause there. Awesome. So one of the things that I think is so important uh, is that we know how to give the, the speakers on stage an amazing uh, reception. Uh, and you probably know, it, if, you've, if you've done this before, if you've been to a TED conference before, uh, you know it's the little things that you do that make a difference. Yeah? Do you believe that's kind of little, little actions, sort of? Let me try to describe it this way. I juggle a little bit. Has, has anyone seen juggling before? Okay, so you would know there's some audience etiquette for juggling. If you see something that's totally amazing, totally incredible, the proper audience etiquette for juggling is? Yeah, give it your all. Clap, hoot, holler, scream, and cheer. Do you want to try it right now? No reason clapping and cheering. Three, two, one, go. There it is. That's what you do if you see something on stage that blows you away, an idea that blows your mind, a, a point that makes you drop your pen or something, I don't know, whatever it is. If you see something uh, that's sort of like uh, moderately impressive, it's okay. Uh, the proper audience etiquette for juggling at least, give it your all. Clap, hoot, holler, <laughs> scream and cheer. The third situation, you may at some point see the juggler drop a ball or all three balls. <laughs> uh, if that happens, everyone's gonna be feeling a little bit awkward, right? Usually there's some guy in the back who's like, that guy looks like an idiot, right? And everybody's feeling awkward. The best thing you can do, the proper audience etiquette for juggling is, just give it your all, clap, hoot, holler, <laughs> scream, cheer. And I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. See, there's this little part of your brain called the amygdala. Say that with me, amygdala. amygdala. The amygdala is an amazing little part of your brain. Ask me why, say why. why? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> The amygdala is like an emotional control center of your brain. And it has a huge effect on what we do and what we perceive. It's like, uh, it's like a connector between what we're physically doing with our bodies and what we're emotionally feeling in our brains. And so if we do something physical that suggests we're feeling a certain way, we actually start to feel that way. Does that make sense? I'll give you an example. You're having a tired day, doing one of these on the desk, right? Face is taken to the paper, drooling, right? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> if you physically sit up, your amygdala picks that up. It says, this guy just sat up. He must be a little more awake than he was a moment ago. It sends out signals to other parts of your brain. You actually start to wake yourself up a little bit. Weird, huh? Same thing happens in reverse when you lie down to go to sleep at night. I'll give you another example. A moment ago, I asked for no reason clapping and cheering. And a lot of you did it. And I couldn't help but notice that the people who did ended up a little more smiley and giggly than the people who did. Why is that? Well, it's because if we're clapping and cheering, our amygdala says something must be pretty cool and I must be pretty happy. This must be pretty awesome. We actually fool ourselves into thinking it's cooler than it is. Weird, huh? Now, we can use this to our advantage, okay? There's a few ways. Um, first way is we can convince our brain that things are important by choosing to focus on them. Does that make sense? I'll give you an example. You ever have a, uh, uh, you're watching a movie and you pull out your cell phone or you pull out your laptop, something like that, and what happens to the movie? It gets less interesting, right? And you find yourself getting distracted and it's like, what happened? Did the movie get worse? No. 
we got distracted. Now, what we think happened is that we got distracted uh, or, or that the movie got worse and then we got distracted. What actually happened is that we distracted ourselves and so we perceived the movie as being worse. Weird, huh? Our brain doesn't know what's important. It doesn't know what's interesting. It only knows from what we focus on. So one thing you can do when you're trying to learn something, I hope you'll do this today, you can unfold your arms. It turns out when you have an open body, you have an open mind. And you can actually learn things faster, more efficiently when you're, when you're open in your body. Weird, huh? Uh, another thing you can do, if you're having a bad day, you could do something like bite on a pen. <laughs> See, when you bite on a pen, your mouth goes into the shape of a smile. Look. <laughs> a creepy <laughs> smile, I know, okay. The the point is the same muscles are active and your amygdala picks that up. So this guy's using his smiling muscles right now. He must be feeling a little bit happier than he was a moment ago. Sends out signals to other parts of your body, other parts of your brain, you actually start to feel happier. Isn't that amazing? So if the juggler drops a ball and you're thinking, that guy looks like an idiot, right? <laughs> and there are people who walk around like this day to day, not you because you're here, obviously. You come to an event on a Sunday to learn. But but some people walk around like this day to day. They're like, this sucks, I hate this. This is stupid, right? And every day they're walking around. If you're physically down, you're gonna be mentally down. We, we pay attention with our bodies, we pay attention with our minds. Anyways, ready for some juggling? We're totally mentally, physically connect connected. Ready for it? Here we go, one, two, three, thank you! <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't help but notice that not everyone was immediately and utterly blown away <laughs> by that little display of juggling. And if you weren't immediately and utterly blown away, you're right, because juggling is way easier than most people think. Juggling is based on a very simple idea, a very simple skill. If you can do this, you can juggle. Right? Now some people are like, I can do that. <laughs> I can't juggle. <laughs> it's not the ideas you have, it's what you do with those ideas. Like you take the same simple idea, it's one, Two, add it with another one, it starts to look a little bit better. One, two. It's not the ideas we get today, it's what we do with these ideas. So my challenge to you is as you listen to all these great speakers, don't just listen for the ideas, think about how they apply in your life. What can you do? What can you take from today and use, put into action to make the world a better place? It's not the ideas, it's what you do with them. And a few simple things, one, two, three, really start to add up and then you're juggling. Once you break it down, it's not nearly as hard as you first thought. A lot of things in life are like that. Now, the cool thing is all of us are different. We're all going to take different things, which is excellent. That's why we have a diversity of speakers today. But even if we all listen to the same person all day, we would all take different things because we all have different perspectives, and that's really valuable. The key thing is that one little thing might not seem like a big deal, but by you doing one little thing differently, you could start to change up the pattern a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, you can drop a ball. <laughs> thank, thank you. You can do fancy handwork like this. Oh, there it is. Yes, or the other way. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> or back, you could do big juggling way up in the. Oops, not yet. <laughs> we didn't need that light, anyways. Uh, you could do small juggling Ooh, or sideways juggling. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. You could do one-handed juggling. Oh. Or the other way. Ah. Oh. Or no way at all. Oh. And then you get the third one going. Mm. 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 It's like a machine. Whoops, almost. You can, you can drop a ball. Thank you. You could do, you could do, we'll try one more time. A machine. Here. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Thank you. You can bounce off your knee or try. Hey! <laughs> or throw under your leg or the other leg or the big Vegas style finale. Feel free to go nuts under every leg. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't even need the balls, actually. That's I know I'm being ridiculous. What's the point? The point is that this is not that impressive. <laughs> That's really not that impressive. 
It's not the ideas you have, it's what you do with those ideas. We're going to have amazing ideas today. The point is that we all take them and do something with them when we go back into the world at the end of it. So keep that in mind the whole day. Before we start and introduce our first speaker, uh, have a look behind you. The executive team is back there, the organizing team. Let's have a huge round of applause for them. Give a wave, executive team. This conference could not have happened without them, uh, and it's so great that uh, they did all this work. When you see them throughout the day, make sure you say thank you to them.